to my ultrasound looking crew belly out mm -hmm. but i gotta eat some then i gotta take ladybug to that girl and then we're gonna head out so what's good y'all this is me just looking cute with my belly out but now we about to take ladybug to daycare and she is such a little lady for real so as we're taking her to daycare she decides to pick out her own little music and stuff like that once we get there she wants to lock the door and do all of this other extra stuff but she that's my little princess right there my little chocolate drop that's my ladybug she is just too sweet so once we get there she um her favorite thing to do is open the door for me and then she go to the elevator to open the press the button for the elevator she want to make sure that she get to press the number one to go up to her little class and everything but this is just her walking to her classroom being extra as you gonna see putting her hands on her hip and everything so this is basically just my daily routine besides my doctor's appointment but taking her up to her classroom and then once I leave, I definitely made sure I went to go get me something to eat. But look at her. Look at how cute and stuff. She uh, act like she didn't want to knock on the door to go in her classroom. Like, girl, stop playing. And most of the time, she'll go in and then run back out to give me a hug and kiss. But today, she didn't. She just went right in. But I know she wanted to give me one anyway. But she probably was just too excited to be going back to uh, school. So I went. I, once I had dropped her off, I left. Went to go get me some McDonald's. Got daddy some McDonald's because the boy, boys already ate. They wanted cereal. Um, I ordered my food and everything. The one thing they didn't have was they Frappuccino thing was down. And I wanted that without the caffeine. But this is what I had. And I ain't even really finished it all. They ain't even give me no motherfucking jelly and shit. So I had to get some blueberry preserve. Good, good thing we had that in the house. But it was good as fuck. What I, whatever I didn't finish, my husband finished for me. But it was definitely good. And that preserve, that blueberry preserve, got real blueberries in it. Yes. And it was smacking. It was smacking real, real good. So I sat there, ate my um breakfast and stuff because I got back home around like 8.30. My doctor's appointment wasn't until 9.45. We didn't leave out the house until like, what, 9.20. My husband was like, you going to be late. You going to be late. You always pushing it close to the end. But y'all. I had to, you know, enjoy the sandwich. You know how don't my people be enjoy themselves. Oh my goodness, this is this is amazing. No, this was hitting every spot, and I can tell y'all it was definitely hitting every spot. I got the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit meal. Had to swallow it down with some orange juice, and it was amazing. So we pull up to the doctor. This is my little personal spot. Everybody got their little own personal spot. There go daddy back there. He tired as fuck, y'all. He is exhausted because he just got off work and we went straight to the doctor. Came home. He took his shower and everything. And then we went, dropped the boys off, dropped Ladybug off. And we went to my ultrasound. And it took like an hour for them to get everything done and stuff. But we made sure we grabbed our little masks and stuff once we got up in here. And you never, you never grab the mask right off the top. You go all the way at the bottom. Okay. Or in the middle. All right, but that's where I'm gonna be in the labor and delivery room in a couple more weeks. I got 11 more weeks left. But as we get there, you know, they always make sure they uh, I check myself in, and once I check myself in, they take me back first, and then we go get my weight and all of that other stuff. As you can see, I'm going to get my weight, but they be asking me questions and stuff. So once I got my vitals done and stuff, she was asking me questions like, Did you get the COVID test? Um, no, I didn't get the COVID test. I did get the COVID test, but she was say, did I get the COVID shot? And I said, no. And then she was asking me all of these other questions, like, am I safe at home and all of this other stuff. And then she asked, <laughs> she asked at the end, has anybody been beating on me or anything like that? Like, really? This is the same questions that they ask all the time. So I'm like, yeah, daddy just be beating on his cat. That's all. <laughs> but this is the room that I was in. Just waiting for them to come in. And once she uh was getting my stuff together, you know, I'm just laying on the table. 
showing y'all my stomach and stuff like that. But he started to move. When I tell y'all he was moving and grooving, he definitely was. The good thing is that she was able to get his measurements and stuff before um, it got out of control. Because he was kicking. He was definitely kicking that little monitor. She was checking his head. His head size was good. She was checking his heart, his spine. She checked... Um, his legs and everything she basically said that he was gonna be tall um he's really big he's three pounds and seven ounces right now so they are going to do another ultrasound in six weeks um just to do another growth check to make sure that he's not too big to where i don't have to be induced too early i want him to come on his own right even if he is 10 pounds seven ounces or probably more we, we know this little one going to slide right out. He going to come down right out the slide, out, out the cat, real, real easy. Okay. So as she's checking on his spine and his stomach and stuff, she's just basically telling us, like, everything is good. But she tried to get a picture of his face, and, y'all, he wasn't going. He was not going. He was, he had his hand over his face. But when I tell y'all, when she got this picture, out of all of the ultrasounds that I had, besides my other kids, this was the best picture that she got of his face. And he looked just like Fatty Guy. And I'm like, damn, 11 more weeks to go? And he almost four pounds? Hopefully he don't be no more than 10-7, which, which would be great, which would be real, real good. But that picture just brought back memories. Because look at his cheeks. His cheeks is going to be chunky. His lips look just like Fatty Guy and everything. So as I'm laying there and she going to my side, like after she got the picture of his face, he just did like a whole flip. Like he head down. He's head down right now. And he been head down ever since I was five months. So he he gonna he gonna let me know when he ready to come. He gonna he gonna bust my water bag. If he don't bust my water bag at home, he gonna bust it when I'm at work. If I'm not at work, then we just gonna get induced. And if I have to get induced, it's gonna be after September, not on my anniversary, not August, because that's a little bit too early. Okay, let let him come when he wanna come. Unless it's an emergency and y'all have to do like a C-section because that's one of my biggest fears. I don't want to do a C-section and I won't have to do a C-section. Why? Because he going to come on his own. He going he gonna to slide right out the cat real easy. Like once he slide out, he going to be like, what it do, ma? I got I got beef with you. You want to know why? Because you, you was doing too much and I'm trying. I was trying to get some rest and you wasn't letting me get that rest. But it's going to be cool, Jay. You're going to be cool, Jay. Because while you out, you know, I, I got your milk on deck. Uh huh. We're going to stack up, rack up, and do whatever we got to do to make you happy. Because I know I was doing the most. But, you know, I had to stay active, you know. I had to do what it do to make sure you come out smooth. And guess what? You going to come out smooth. But y'all, look at him. When she moved that cloud, look at his face. Look at my little baby. Hey, Javon, how you doing? How you doing, Chunky Me? Look at you. I'm going to bring it up a little closer so y'all can see it. But he looks so handsome. He looks so handsome. His face looked chunky. His lips, his nose. Everything was good. He measuring long. He measuring three, almost four pounds. Um, So he'll probably be like eight, eight, nine pounds, which is okay with me because he won't get stuck. Which means I won't have to have a C-section. Which means that it'll be good for me. Because I don't want to have to do that. But, uh, yeah, I got to come back in the next six weeks to do another growth test. So, they just basically doing growth tests to see where I will be at um, before I deliver. And, yeah, that is that. Look at my chunky man, man. Look at your face. Handsome butt, butt. But stay tuned, y'all, because we're going to be having a birthing vlog coming soon, real, real soon. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Turn y'all, turn on y'all notification bells. Uh-huh. Turn the notification bell on and make sure you stay tuned for all of the other videos and all of the other vlogs that I drop, okay? Because this is just the beginning <laughs> and it's going to be a lot more coming soon. All right? Peace out.